Hi there everyone back with another video and in this video we will be learning some interesting concept in JavaScript it's all about getters and setters so before diving deep into this video please make sure that guys uh, you stick on to this video till the end because I'm gonna dive deep and explain all about the getters and setters and working of getters and setters and what is the difference uh, what are the difference between the getters and setters in this video? So please make sure that you watched uh, this video till the end so that you will be having a broader uh, idea and understanding about getters and setters. So with that being said, let us uh, jump in and let us know what are getters and setters. So and again, uh, before diving deep and uh, learning about getters and setters, you, you need to understand uh, a quick note and you need to have some kind of an understanding in your back of your mind that is this getters and setters they look like a function but they are not a function so this is the thing that you need to uh, be having uh, in, in your mind before diving deep into setters and you know getters so they look like a function of course in the coding part they look like a function but they are not a function so the functions are entirely a different concept in javascript so uh, i hope that you have you know what are functions so this is the thing that you need to understand so now what are getters and setters so they get executed on getting or setting a value and they are regular properties of an object so getters and setters are associated and they are only associated to an object so it will be the the condition of, of working will be based on whether it is getting a value or it is setting a value of course they seems to be the getters and the setters seems to be one and the same but the functionality differs so based on the getting a value or setting a value they will be called as getters and setters so again they are a regular properties make sure that guys it is a properties of an object so with that being said let's jump in and let us know how exactly getters and setters works in javascript so now guys let us understand how to create getters and setters and also understand what's the difference between getters and setters with an example over here so now i'll just create an object like obj and initialize it to some uh, properties like a first name and initialize it some value like my name over here and also have some the second property of this object i'll just have last name over here and initialize it to my last name so if I just have a third property like full name and have some blah 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 over here so now this full name is a regular key value pair of this object right so we should not have this in order to make this regular key value pairs into getters and setters so now how to convert this regular key value pairs into getters and setters so it will be just like this so now this became uh, a getter or a setter but still we are not fully into getter or setter so now if i want to make this thing as a getter you need to have a prefix called as get uh, prior to this property name right again guys do remember getters and setters are a property of an object of course it looks like a function just like over here but it is not a function it is a property of an object so now if we have a get over here it is a getter so if i just change it to set it is now a setter right so now first let us work around with a getter with this get so now what do you mean by a getter it gets the value of this property which is a full name so now in our case what is a full name so we will be getting a full name from this getter so right so now what how to get a value for a full name so now you need to return something to this so if i just return let me say uh, a b and c or just like something else so now the full name of the person will be a b and c so now at the uh, at the end of this object if i just have some console over here and i'll just say obj dot full name so now what will be the output it's 
A B C. Even though the first name and the last name seems to be different, but his full name is this. The reason is because we are, uh, you know, getting a full name property. Uh, yeah, full name's value as A B C. So which is uh, ambiguous. So now what I'm gonna do? I'll just change it to let me say this dot first name and I'll just concat it with the space over here and again lastly with uh, last name so now what will be the output it is a concatenation of first name and last name so now guys this dot first name indicates the object's first name so now it will be my actual name right so this is how we will be getting the value of this property called as full name using getter right so now if what if i do something like after creating getter i will just say obj dot full name is equal to i'll just say a b c and x y and z so now what will be the output it remains the same thing as you can see here it remained as the concatenation of the first name and last name which is given by the getter the reason is because we are not able to set this value as a full name the reason is because we are not having a setter in order to set this value. So now how to create a setter? Again, it's the same thing. Use set instead of get and set with afterwards. You need to have a property name, which is a full name in our case. So now here you need to set this value uh, in the setter. And now again, guys, we are initializing this value to this property called as full name in other words we are setting a value right so in order to receive this value to a setter we need to have some parameters like uh, a or b or c again guys this is just an identifier i'll just say value so if this if we pass anything to this uh, property this will be uh, passed as a parameter to the setter. So now inside this value, we will be having a, 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 B, C, and X, Y, Z, right? So now how to set the value to the full name? So now in here, you need to set something uh, to that, which is a meaningful one. So I notice here, I'm sending a value which will, which is separated by a space. So, which means this is the first name, which is A and B, C, and the last name will be X, Y, and C, right? So now I'll uh, just need to set the first name and the last name. That's it. The reason is because if I just set the first name and last name, anyhow, I will be getting all of the first name and the last name concatenated with this in the getter, right? So this is how we will be setting something uh, related to this property called as full name. So now what I'm going to do with the, here is I'll just say this dot uh, first name. I'm sorry, uh, it's not full name. It's a first name and with the comma over here and I'll just say I have last name and initialize with a value splitted by the value which I have received over here. So I'll just say uh, value should be splitted by a delimiter with the space. So that's it. So now I'm setting the first name and the last name with the setter over here, which will be set by a value which is passed by us, right? So if I just save and refresh, oh, we got some error. The reason is because after uh, creating getter and setter, we need to uh, distinguish that with a comma over here since because again do remember this is an object and also we can also have a semicolon over here so since this is an object all the key value pairs should be separated by a comma right so save this and see the result so this is how we will set the value and get the value that's it so this is how we will be creating a setter which will set the values based on the value uh, received from the actual setting value over here right so this is the getter and this is the setter this is all about the getters and setters in javascript it is so simple make sure that guys you practice them and it seems to be confusing for the first time so when once you practice them it is so easy so yes guys this is all about the getters and setters in javascript i hope that it, it, this video make made your day and uh, if you're new to this channel make sure that you subscribe 
and share this video like and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so see you in the next video until then take care